Hi guys, Danny here and welcome to my play world. Now this is actually my second attempt to filling this episode. Um, why second? Wait... I just realized that one of my thingies are missing. Uh, portal gun. I got some of these portal spawners and now they're gone. I had them here and I had set them over in my um, rotary craft place, but yeah, uh, I, I had decided that they would be no use to me anyway, so it's fine. Anyways, um, so yeah, second attempt. Basically, I went over everything, and then just while said, you know, telling you guys my plan, I sort of spent all twenty-five minutes. So yeah, I had to refilm the whole thing. Ooh, this is not right either. Um. No, I don't actually know what I have to go over because I sort of forgot. So I'm gonna go and try and remember. So oh yeah, I started from here. Basically, I came. I had my boring machine on at a higher um at a higher uh, Y Z coordinate. It's one of them because I wanted to get some of these uh, surface squirts. They didn't get any. Uh, I had to go in there myself and mine out a whole uh. Abandoned mine shaft because I saw some of these fences and some oak wood. This is my access chest. Basically, anything that can't be sorted by the system goes in here. I regularly come here and check to see if I got anything good. And I got these fences and some wood. I was like, oh, okay. So I went in there and I got a lot of things. And I mean a lot of things. Number one, I killed a lot of spiders and I got myself. Wait. Wait. Something's not right here. Oh no. I might have just I might have just loaded up the wrong save. That's impossible. Where did my where did my uh, things go then? My spider spawners are they in here? Oh, there they are. Oh, okay. I was really scared for a second there. Um basically I got a lot of cave spider spawners. I got poison hard. You can see the damage my um, diamond helmet took, even though it had the protection tree and the unbreaking tree. Oh yeah, I've been having a lot of fun enchanting all my stuff. Um, and talking about enchanting my stuff, I managed to get more of those essence ber essence berry bushes. Basically, like I said, I went to the abandoned mine shaft and I found a lot. I found like five bushes just on top of each other. That sounds wrong, but. I found a lot. I found, let, let's see, I had two to start off with. Now I have six here. And I have another one in the chest over there, meaning I found like seven. And I was like, wow. So I set this, these guys up as well. I don't have another. Whoa, you got, you should not have taken the berry. I don't know how you managed that. And basically I set these guys up as well. This doesn't take more. Um, okay, and I have one more in here, as you can see there, and yeah, I've just been having lots of fun, getting a lot of experience, enchanting a lot of my stuff. I also got myself a Sword of the Storms, oops, no, not Sword of the Storms, sorry, that's what I named it, Um, Sword of Zephyr, and I got myself... The Unbreaking, Sharpness, Repair 2. Oh, this is an awesome story. Basically, I enchanted this once, and I got myself Vorpal 5, and I was like, oh, that sucks. So I made myself one of these Spellbinding Cloth, and with that, I just removed the enchantment. And then I got Unbreaking 3, Sharpness 4, and Repair 2. I know it's Sharpness 5 now. That's because I used a Sharpness 4 book on it to upgrade it. It's not actually as strong as my Bedrock Sword, but I like it because... It's the sword that I have in my little uh, YouTube uh, picture as well. I just love that sword. Before I had witchery, I used to fly around using the sword from the... Uh, using the Thumbcraft sword, which is, you know, pretty awesome. Uh, if I look here, you can see all of the books that i gotten. A couple of frugals that will be useful for... Uh, when I have wand caps, I have magical protection... Soulbound, which is awesome. Uh, a couple of... Uh, blah, 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 blah. I also got myself an Efficiency 3 book. And I went to my Boring Machine. And I just right-clicked on it. 
and it just upgraded from the efficiency 2 to the efficiency 3. Um, yeah, I lost the efficiency 2 enchant, and, and no, you can't upgrade it by just right-clicking with another effic efficiency 2 book. I asked Reika, he said no, and as you can see, efficiency 3. And with the efficiency 3, I can mine every 10 seconds using the boring machine, and I'm super happy about that. Um, okay, uh, just a quick check of how much time I've sent so far. Okay, five minutes, not that bad. Like I said, uh, Certus Quartz, I went in there, inside of the abandoned mine shafts, mined a lot. I think I mined around just just under a whole stack of these ores, and then I just put them up in my grinder, and I got loads of uh, quartz, and then I turned some into dust, and I turned some of the dust into silicon. Um, I don't think I've explained this to you guys, but I basically... Uh, linked up my AE system. Ooh, is this in the on position? Okay. Uh, everywhere and let me go up. Oh, I also got myself a zombie status, zombie trophy. Uh, that I got from killing loads of zombies and getting a zombie spawner. Up here. Basically, I decided to change it up. It is Hadwig. Hello, Hadwig. Should I let you follow me? Yes. Come along, Hedwig. We shall go on an adventure. Come. My friend. My demonic friend. Come along. Okay. Um. Basically, I got these Emmy chests. Now, if the question is why, why didn't I just use why didn't I just use those access terminals? Because I like having all of the items in the specific floors. And uh, the one thing that I really don't like about the AE system is that it's super messy. You know, all of the items are just all over the place. And when you right click, you see all of the items. And I just don't want that. And I know I could have used that inventory interface. But uh, the thing with that is, say the Thumbcraft one. What if I get like an insane amount of shards? At the moment, I already have... Um, you know, like a good amount of shards, 304 water shards, 125 fire shards. Okay, yeah, in the ME chest they can stack, but if I'd use like a, a gold chest or a diamond chest, eventually I might have so many shards that, you know, it stacks after stacks, my whole thing would be full up, and I might have to use another one. And I said, eh, I'll just use um, one of these ME chests with just a normal 1k storage. And with this method, even if I go in my basement and throw items in there, if there are items... In this ME chest or in any of the ME chests in any of the floors, um, the items will be routed to here. So say I got some shards and I threw it down in my system, the shards would come into this chest. They won't just be in the main system. I also got myself an uh, ME access terminal in my Thumbcraft room because this is the room I'll be the most in. And I can actually access the items from the other ME chests. As you can see, I have the outlet swing here and some creeper hearts, all that. Um, yeah, okay, this is super messy, as you can see. And I know I can search in things, but I still like having it separate. And, um, yeah, I just have the same in the room upstairs. They're all in the same position because I had the cable going along one side of the building. And they all have 1K storage at the moment because, you know, that's all I'll need at the moment. I might upgrade that to 2K or 4K, depending on how things go. And, yeah... That's my AE upgrade so far. I haven't done anything else really. Um, sort of the storms. Uh, I enchanted the armor. Not these guys. These guys can't be further enchanted it seems. And what I have planned for this episode. Is just a bit of further AE expansion. I hear birds hooting and I'm just wondering if it's in my game or if it's outside. I'm super confused. Um, so yeah, Hadwick, super powerful. 50 HP. That's more HP than I have. Um, and uh, what else? Okay, the bird sounds are coming from outside. Uh, let's see. I don't need any more power. And I don't need to access the chests up there. So I'll just turn this off. Okay, what I have planned for this episode... Um, I explained everything, so that's that. Now, oh yeah, I also updated all of my mods. Every single one of my mods. 
basically what happened was um i started lagging hard so i was like maybe it's one of the mods fault so i updated everything and i even like downgraded some of them if they were in their beta not the extra utilities i love the extra utilities too much and now it works slightly better but when i did that um i also tried to update my java or i to try to mess around with my java controls basically java crashed and it bugged out i tried to reinstall java it didn't work and I did a whole whole load of thing. I uninstalled Java, I reinstalled it, and I uninstalled it again, reinstalled it, uninstalled Minecraft, reinstalled it. Basically, it wouldn't work. But now it works, and I'm quite happy. So what I have planned for this episode is basically setting up an all-around AE system. Basically, what I'm going to do is take away most of these uh, transfer pipes from the extra utilities, and just have one system where the ender chests, uh, where, uh, sorry, where the transfer nodes, Either take it to, um, okay, I'll do it this chest. Either take it to this chest or take it to the system of barrels. Now, why barrels? Because things like um, cobblestone, I'm going to get a lot of, but I don't want a lot of. So, you know, I just have this here. I might upgrade the barrels. Um, at the moment, they're all 64. In fact, one of these should be more than 64, right? The canola one, it can store around 8,000 stacks. I might do that kind of expensive it uses blaze rods and ender pearls but you know if i get loads of something then i might have to uh, maybe netherrack that seems to be quite useful mm, but yeah let me go look at the chest to see what was drained here okay nothing so far and that's what i'm going to do and from this chest i'm gonna attach using one of those terminals um to you know directly take items into my ae system and then I'm going to extend these cables into my little rotary craft room and hook up the wires every, everywhere. And yeah, just some crazy shenanigans for this episode. Oh, I don't know if you guys showed you guys this, but I also got myself one of these guys. What are their names? I have no idea. The what am I looking at thing isn't working. This is from rotary craft. Basically, it transforms uh, shaft power into redstone flux. And at the moment, the wire light doesn't seem to be working at all. This is the AC engine, I know that, but that guy. Basically, my plan is to take away all of the shafts and replace them with just redstone flux wires. I had planned to do this from the start. I hadn't because, you know, I'd need a lot of steel to pre produce enough energy and all that stuff. So I decided just to go with what I had and I had a load of steel. So I just decided to go with the shaft method. But I have enough iron and I have enough steel now that I don't have to. Let's see. I R O N. A good amount of iron, 590. And not only that, if I go here, I had let some steel cook. So now I have. Okay, yeah, that's not just it. I have the rest of them in this chest. Steel, steel. As you can see, I have around four stacks. Well, nearly four stacks altogether. I'd actually put down like three stacks in there, so I got a lot of extra, which is good. Um, yeah, I also managed to get a lot of scrap, a couple of gears from the abandoned mine shafts. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, you can see my Sentry engine here. I was thinking of using it continuously, but then I decided not to because the Sentry engine uses a lot of the Ignis to create a lot of power really quickly. So, you know, unless I was making constant stream of Ignis, uh, to power my giant um, system. Yeah, it would be perfect. But at the moment, I just don't have the need to. So I'm just using the Sentry Engine as a quick boost. So just flick the switch. Uh, the Sentry Engine is producing a lot of MJs. Um, just that much MJ it produced will probably last me like 5 minutes of uh, running the AE system on just the power created by the Sentry Engine. Just that powerful. And I should have an extra jar of Ignis as well, somewhere. But yeah, uh, let me get some of the items and I'll be right back. Welcome back guys. And I am so excited to show you guys everything I've done. Which I have to mention is a lot. Well, first of all, as you can see, I added a third one of these hydrokinetic engines. I added a third um, grinder. I removed all of the shafts. 
So I completely changed from shaft method to redstone flux. This method is awesome. Now, like I said before, this is the method that I wanted to go to from the start. And I didn't because I just didn't have enough resources. But now that I do, it's perfect. See, even while taking the um, uh, power from here to there, I lost around a couple of thousand um, watts. But with this method, I can get precisely the amount of power that I want. Basically what I have is I have the hydrokinetic engines there and then I have the machine that converts the uh, shaft power into redstone flux and I just have the redstone flux going this way, back around that way into these two machines underneath. Um, basically I'm using one of those guys that converts redstone flux back into shaft power so by doing just that I divide it to the point. It's perfect. And the best thing is the power that I would normally lose uh, get directed to this one. Now as you can see the operation time is actually quite high. Uh, I think the operation time to these guys have actually decreased. Wait let me turn one on. As you can see it's 8.95 seconds. I think it was around 12, 13 before it? 11, 10? Something like that. Um, but basically this is you know it's a lot better now and uh, um, I also got to add the third um, grinder. Now all that grinder is going to do, and you can see because of the 23 seconds, is going to grind up my canola. It's going to do nothing but grind canola. And it's going to take the canola, and I have some pipes connected to these guys, and all it's going to do is supply it with canola. Just a lot of canola. And that's pretty much it. Now I could set this a bit higher, but I decided not to because if I have this setting, I actually get a slight net gain in my um, cell back there, as you can see. Okay, it's zero right now. That's because the machine that I can use to convert the redstone flux back into the uh, shaft power. Um, I'm really struggling without the wire. Um, I can turn it on and off using uh, levers, and I've redirected the power uh, while I'm not using it to my AE system. So now my AE system always has a positive net gain. Net gain. Yeah, well, gain is always positive anyways. Um, and as I, as you can see here, I'm using more power now, but that's because I have more cables. Um, I even have a couple of uh, precision export buses, I, like I showed you guys. That's going to be the one that's going to take the ores from my system into the grinders. I also have one basic export bus. This is basically to take the canola to the one grinder. So, you know, it's going to be quite automated. And this resident energy cell here, you can see, is nearly filling up. It's day right now, I think. So, this energy that I'm getting in is all from the hydrokinetic engine. Which I won't have to stop anymore because I set up the farm again. I set up the canola. Ooh, I'm lagging hard. I should probably turn the game off and on for a second. Um, right there. I also got myself some wheat, which I'll explain probably in the next episode, because I found a way to make... No, I'm not going to spoil it. <laughs> it's actually quite exciting. I'm actually quite excited for this. And basically, yeah, and all I need to do, really, is get an import bus and import all of the items that I get should have a lot of items there. A lot of canola as well. Huh. Okay, I should probably do this right away. And import it all into my system. And then export it where I need to. So... Those chests must be full up. Hmm. Also, I have uh, those um, extra utility pipes connecting this ender chest to my barrels over here. And they work exactly the same as they used to. Nothing has changed. It's just a bit more um, compact and against the wall. I also remove the... Or rather, I turn it off completely because the ticking was annoying me a lot. So, yeah. It's actually quite a lot better now. Oh, and I also got myself... Um, a sawmill. 
because I get a lot... Why do I keep getting these invisible utility things? Um, where is it? Because I get a lot more wood, wooden planks from the wood, as I would compared to if I just, you know, uh, turned it into wood planks directly. So I'm very excited for that. Uh, you can see a lot, all of the items I, that I used before here. Um, you can see all of the items that I have here because I might move the normal terminal up here to be perfectly honest. And now that I have... no, no, wait. Okay. I think because I have the dark cable there, if it doesn't have a redstone signal, it will just be off. Um, but yeah, this is everything, so all of, me, all of my items are in here. And all the chests upstairs will still be there. All I need to do is set up the... No, I need to make myself an import bus. And after that, I can t import items and I'll be done. So, really excited. So, import, all I'll need is a basic import bus will do. Um, this should be the one that imports it. Let me just check. Applied Energistics, go to the pipes, cable. It should be a bus, so I'm just going to look up buses. BUS. Um, fluid storage, fluid import, precision import, precision export. Basic import bus, yeah, it's going to be that. And make myself an EE. Oops, what am I missing? Is it, Am I missing a glass? Oh, a cable. Um... There you go. Basic import. Get myself an interface. Make myself a sticky piston. I was sure I had a piston made. Make myself a piston. Put it back in there. Sticky piston. Put it back in there. Basic import bus. Perfect. Now all I need to do is go down here. Where is my pickaxe? Mine away that. Turn into bat form. I don't use bat form to fly anymore now that I've you know got the power of the bat through witchery. Ooh. Oh god, I don't know if I have that extra cable or not. I think I might have used all of it. I need exactly one more cable. Do I have it? No, I don't. That's so unfortunate. Uh, let's see, where are there, are there, are there. Um, do I have any flux dust? F-L-U-I. Oh, I do, perfect. Um, my crafting terminal is upstairs. Here, and do that, do that, do that, do that, and... I have to do this before the chest starts overflowing. Is it done? Are you being imported? And it is. And there you go. Now the speed of the import isn't too fast, but I'm not really worried about that. Um, in fact, I might start helping it along. Just a little bit, just so the items don't get clogged up in my system. And I should have plenty of space for all of the items, all of the junk, or you know, the ones that I have a few of, will be stored there. All of the metals are in my 16k, and I also have this uh, adjustable ME storage with uh, 4096 bytes, so that's going to be useful if I have any more items that I'm going to have a lot of. So, yeah. I think... I'm happy now. Perfect. So yeah, everything is going according to my plan. Now, I wish I could get rid of this lag. So unfortunate. What happened to the plant there? Okay, well, there is a backlog. A slight amount of backlog. Ooh, maybe the items are um, completely... 
blocked. I ha like I sh and there you go. I threw in the uh, basic export bus there, and now it's going to constantly supply my grinder with canola seeds, which will be full up. And the canola is directly taken from my farm into my AE system. Look at this lag. What what's happening right now? Okay, yeah, this is getting ridiculous now. Okay. Well, luckily for me, uh, that resonant energy cell is nearly full. So, what's humming? Oh, it's probably these electro something doohickeys. That's slowly being drained because of that guy. Okay, um, well, what I was going to do was going to get a name tag and I was going to na rename Hadwig. Now, I don't, li I don't mind Hadwig. But I think if we gave it a name, uh, you know, that we chose, it'd be much nicer. So, mother of Christ, this is just horrible. I mean, my God. I wouldn't mind a bit of lag, but this is just ridiculous. I have to get a new recording software, so it has been decided. I'm assuming it's the recording software. Uh, I don't want half of my uh, video to be about me complaining about the lag, so... Okay, I won't make another uh, Let's Play video until I fix the lag. Uh, but yeah, that's my question to you guys. What should I rename Hadwig? And if so, what should I rename him? Please give suggestions in the comment section. And oh, and um, my uh, most popular video, I guess, the Reactor Craft video, hit, hit 10,000 views and 100 likes. And I am so excited for that. So I wanted to thank you guys for that. I'm just. It's just no words. It's just ridiculous. 10,000 views for someone. I think that was my 10, 15th video. So, you know, pretty crazy. Even my first video has already gotten around 6,000 views. So that's pretty insane. So, yeah, I wanted to thank you guys for that. And it's been just a week and I'm already past 250 subscribers. So in less than a week, I think I'm going to hit 300. So, like I said, insane. I'm just, it's just amazing. So thanks, guys, again. And I'll see you next time when I fix this lag, hopefully. So yeah, if you like the video, please leave a like or subscribe for more Minecraft videos. Thanks for watching, guys.